wake of a recent overdose death on the Penticton Indian Band, the First Nation says it plans to approach the federal government for financial support to provide addiction relief. The PIB shared the news on Tuesday to media members, four days after it announced a ban on drugs and a hope to be alcohol-free. Chief Chad Enius says it's premature to talk about specifics for a plan to become drug and alcohol free, but he says at this point the band is working to do things differently with the community in terms of engagement and with helping families deal with addiction. But he says the band is limited with the formal supports it can offer. I'm just going to say that the federal government doesn't provide enough resources uh, for us to adequately address the needs of our communities. We'll be um, knocking on their doors real soon with uh, what the community needs. So, But the first part is just to uh, get over this initial shock and the grief in our community and, and come together. Enius says the Okanagan is a hot spot for overdoses in BC and says young people are especially vulnerable. Councillor Suzanne Johnson says the band is working with the First Nations Health Authority to increase their access to services. We need to access every partner and um, every every possible opportunity because the resources are often really limited and you just got to try and pull everything together to, to come up with um, services and supports that are helpful for everyone. For Castanet News, I'm Colton Davies in Penticton.